Hello everyone, hope you're well. I don't usually do videos like this, but there's a big announcement I want to make about the future of the channel. And I thought it might be nice to put a face to a voice and assure you all that I'm not just some tech end spouting robot. After that, I'm excited to tell you about some upcoming content we have planned, and then I'll field some common questions I get about that blasted salami, the team, how we make videos, and so on. Okay, so first of all, the big announcement. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to put this in the title anyway, but whatever. So I've decided to spend the rest of this year and most of 2020 on being a full-time content creator. And if that works out, then indefinitely beyond that. I'm very excited and just a little bit anxious about this decision, but I can't wait to see where it could possibly lead. And just thank you for making it a possibility. This, of course, means more videos, more consistent uploads, and regular streaming over on Twitch. Also, I kind of suck when it comes to keeping my promises on this channel, so I am sorry about that, and I want to do better. Oh, whatever happened to my clothes? Yeah. Sorry, I was getting a bit late last night, so I decided to pick up the rest of this the next day. Dramatic interlude. Mmm, yes, yeah, very good. So, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, going full time. So, this uh, was something I've been considering for a while now, but I only really settled on it while working on the Julia breakdown. That video kind of kicked my ass because uh, it was the first video in a while which I didn't work together with my co-editor since he just left the channel and juggling my day job together with creating a video of that kind of complexity was a bit crazy. If you're curious how long it takes to put together a typical video, um, well, the Julia breakdown was five to six hours a day for about a month. And those hours were generally eating into my sleeping time, so... Okay, so what is, or rather was, my day job? Well, I'm an English teacher in Japan, and I teach mostly private English classes from my home in Kumamoto, which is a small city to the south of Japan. I'm actually closer to Seoul than I am to Tokyo. Teaching is something I get a really big kick out of, and I am going to continue doing a bit of it. I do have bills to pay after all, and food to put on the table. But whereas before teaching was my main thing, and that blasted salami was my side thing, now that's going to be reversed. Actually, one other exciting line of work I got into recently was guide writing. Ooh. So I was one of the co-authors on the official guide for Sekiro. I'm a massive fan of From Software's games, so the chance to work on this was pretty incredible. I want to give a big shout out to Future Press for giving me that opportunity and also to their amazing Tekken 5 and Soul Calibur 5 guides, which I think are still some of the best books written for a fighting game. The format for the Essential series was actually directly inspired by them. There's a possibility I'll be working again with Future Press on another project next year. I can't talk about what it is now, but if it comes to pass, it's going to be at least a month or two of my full attention, which means obviously I can't really work on that blasted salami. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated though and let you know if that happens well in advance. Okay, so on to upcoming videos. At EVO Japan this year, I recorded a bunch of interviews, but that was quite a while ago now, about six months. 
I think a lot of these are probably past their expiry date now, so I really have to apologize to all these great players whose time I took up. The past couple of months have been quite hectic, so I just never got around to editing these. I do still want to upload the interview I had with JDCR though, since we also had a follow-up chat on Skype where he goes into a lot of detail about his thoughts on a variety of topics. This is also pretty old, so I need to reconfirm with JDCR if it's okay to put this up now. But if it is, expect it later this week. There's also a Devil Gin Essentials that's been in production for a while now. The reason I chose Devil Gin is because he's such a rounded character. So with this, I wanted to make not just a character guide, but also a general how to play Tekken video. For example, talking about how to use pokes to set up whiffs, the importance of controlling space, and so on. Gene Kazama win. I won't be continuing work on this though until Season 3 hits, since I don't want to release something only for it to be outdated a week later. Speaking of Season 3, I hope you're as excited as I am. As with Season 2, we'll be covering all the changes. We'll have to see how extensive they are. I might possibly do this as one big video. But seeing as how everyone is getting new moves, I'm pretty sure we'll see a big shakeup in the meta. So yeah, that's another 47 videos to get cracking on. And yes, I'm really looking forward to Leroy. His character design is so uniquely Tekken. I'd say since Tekken 6, a lot of the new characters' fighting styles have been kind of out there, so it's great to see another character who's rooted in an actual martial art. <laughs> There's also a Nii vs Arslan match analysis video in the oven, similar to the Ryan Hart vs Rip one. This will actually look over quite a few of their sets, not just the EVO finals, so it's going to go into quite a bit of depth. A big shout out to Crossroads, who's helping me put this video together. Oh, oh, man. On top of this, I also want to create some more character overview videos for other fighting games that I enjoy. First up is Killer Instinct, quite possibly the most underappreciated gem of a fighting game this generation. But beyond that, I also want to work on Third Strike, Vampire Savior, Soul Calibur 6, Mortal Kombat 11, Guilty Gear, and a bunch of other stuff. I'll be updating the Tekken 7 character overviews as well, a lot of people have requested that, but again, only after all the characters in Season 3 have been released. Since I'll be streaming regularly as well, I'll try to upload some stream highlights but these are a low priority. I'm lucky to live nearby a strong local community, so that's definitely how I prefer to play. I'm not really a huge fan of playing fighting games online, especially when delay-based netcode is still the standard, so I seldom do. I'm kind of curious how far I can go online though, but mostly on my stream I'll be chilling out with an RPG or action game, or just editing up the next video. During a stream, I might be joined by my wife, Sayuko. Ah. Or Steve. Or Lynn. Walt is currently sleeping, so I don't want to disturb him. But here's a video of him sneezing on me from a few months ago when I was fixing up my office. Thanks, buddy. I'm actually quite allergic to animals, so you might notice some rashes on my skin or puffy eyes. But I also love animals, so what can you do? Okay, so a question I often get is, who is the team? And why are you guys called That Blasted Salami? Well, yeah, it's from the 90s X-Men cartoon. Where's that blasted salami? I can smell it. Ah. All it needs is slicing. While you're at it, fix one for me. But there's a bit more to it than that. 
All the videos on this channel are, to some degree or other, a collaborative effort. This channel was, from its inception, about pooling together the skills and knowledge of various specialists within the FGC, and then working together to create informative, entertaining, and easily digestible videos. Sort of like a big sausage, or salami. Am I making sense? Good. All the first drafts for the scripts here are written by character specialists. I'm not some Tekken guru. Then I take that knowledge and edit the script, so that all the videos have a consistent tone of voice. I feel comfortable as a narrator reading it, and I also try to incorporate some of my experience as a teacher as well. Sometimes I need to change the script a lot, sometimes barely at all. It really depends on who I'm working with. One frequent collaborator is Dinosaur. He recently had a very impressive run at Versus Fighting 2019, beating Kokoma with his Brian. Incidentally, yes, he is the guy who wrote Brian Essentials. Oh, whoa! What? You the Mac Punch there? Oh, 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 now y'all hide. Yo, Spag, sit your ass down. You need to calm down. Dinosaur is semi-retired now as a competitive Tekken player, but for as long as I can remember, he's been a pillar of the UK Tekken community. He's helped so many players, including myself, understand the game better, and I basically consider Dino to be a mentor when it comes to all things Tekken. He's also a writer for Bloody Elbow, one of the biggest MMA blogs in the world, and he may just be helping me out with the narration in some upcoming videos. Someone else I often work with is Fergus, who really needs no introduction. One of the most skilled players in Europe, incredibly generous with his time, and yeah, just a really nice guy. Nice. And he stands up and he ties it up! What the hell? <laughs> Was that Anna's wind pose? Zulfikar Karabalut from Germany is our graphic designer. He's the guy who makes all the incredible thumbnails and promotional material. Dan Sylvia is from Boston, and he's our resident Air Dasher expert. He edited up the Dragon Ball Fighters character overviews, and also handles all the motion graphics work. Speaking of Dragon Ball Fighters, we haven't forgotten about it. The much, much delayed Trunks Guide got stuck somewhere in a time loop, but it is coming. Dan is currently working on a really big project for the channel, which we'll announce in the near future. Someone else who's contributed a ton to the channel, but unfortunately isn't a part of it anymore, is Croc, who was my co-editor for the better part of two years. His passion for fighting games kind of dwindled, so he decided to take his leave, but I am very grateful for all that he did. There are a lot of other contributors who have helped out the channel, and while I can't list them all, a big shout out to these guys. In a future video, I also want to talk about how Akito Kid and Lemon are helping us internationalize the channel in some really cool and exciting ways. As I'm about to render this video, we just broke 50,000 subscribers, and while that's just a number, it really means a lot to me that there are so many people out there who enjoy our videos. If you like our work and would like to see more, please consider supporting us on Patreon. We are no stranger to the monetization issues plaguing many other YouTubers at the moment. Your donations would allow us to hire professional editors, greatly increasing the amount of content we can create please see our Patreon page for more details. The link is in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's the morning now, so I guess today marks the first day of a new road. Take care, have a good one, and I'll catch you again real soon.